Right, Scott, hit it. I'm a Navi, Navi. to Pandora, Pandora fly. fly. Oh, ride, fly. Yeah, just... fly uh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're flying. 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 Uh, Avatar tonight. Avatar tonight. Avatar tonight. It's a good thing nobody's here for the beginning of these episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I, I hope you all caught the chat, but, uh, um, I know we're at schedule for avatar and we'll do that, but it is Stan Lee's 100th birthday. So I thought we could all start off with like a Stan Lee sketch. Stan Lee yeah. What? yeah. Right, let me turn off the, um, Stan Lee Lieber. Also known as Stan Lee. Is that what we're drawing first? Love Stan Sandy's in the stream. She got her. You're muted, Sandy, just in case you're trying to say anything. I just muted it because my kids are still up. Your kids are still up? Yeah, I won't go to school. Don't they have. Oh, I guess school's out, huh? Yeah. What, what summer? I want people to hear me yelling like, hey, finish! <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna try and do a. I'm gonna try and draw Stan Lee as a Navi. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that. You do you, Boo Boo. <laughs> you do you. So since we're since we're dealing with Stan Lee to begin with, anybody have any Stan Lee memories? I, I never got to meet him. Did any of you guys? Because I know I know he was in town once or twice. I sat in front of him at Amazing God Honolulu. Um, you know, his his table where he was doing his signing was directly across from, from my table. Uh, did you, did and, you make did you make moony eyes at him? No, but I, I did say hello to him and he said hello back. I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like he was coming in in the morning and I just kind of said, hey, Mr. Lee. And he's like, Good morning, you know. It was like it was, uh, yeah, and uh, but I mean, you know, I, I will say this: being that close to him and all the people that were waiting in line for him, it really did well for me <laughs> because a lot of people would were looking at my table and then coming over afterwards. So it was like I never did so well. At amazing, except for that year I was across from Stanley. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Um, you know, the other subsequent years, I were nowhere near as uh, fruitful as that one was. You get the Stanley bump. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it was pretty funny. <laughs> but that's that's my only brush with Stanley. Um, everything else I know, I just know from, you know, people telling stories. So. Did you ever, when you were younger, did you ever watch a TV show? I think it was called Kids Are People Too. Uh, yeah. I can't remember who the host was for that. Was it, uh... It was like, I think it was like somebody like John Davidson or something. Who knows? But it was like. I was thinking, yeah, I was thinking like Dick Cabot or no, it wasn't him, was it? Maybe. I don't know. But he, uh, Stan Lee was on an episode of, of Kids Are People Too, and they were interviewing him. And I was pretty young, but I, I knew the difference between, you know, reality and, and, uh, and fiction. <laughs> and I just remember there was this really awkward moment where, you know, they established during their conversation that Marvel Comics is in New York. And when they open it up for people to ask questions of the audience, a kid stands up and asks him what they would do if there was a flood in New York. <laughs> and I, I think the kid was hoping that you know, Stanley would say something like the Fantastic Four would evacuate the city or, you know, all this stuff. And every, it's like real quiet on the set. And then Stanley is like, well, the city has like, you know, 
stuff set in for like emergencies and I don't know. It's just like he gave this very matter of fact answer, talking about all the you know how the municipalities would work to provide relief in a flood or whatever. I thought it was really funny. He was like, "Wait a minute, what about all the superheroes in that city?" Yeah, really. But uh, I, I don't know. It's it's funny how Stanley has been like you know the face of Marvel Comics forever you know i mean i think even after his death he's still kind of the face of marvel comics Stand. You ever seen that picture of him at the at the state capitol? No. Posing with a bunch of Well yeah, you know, when they when they declare Chan Lee Day in Honolulu. Right. Yeah. So if you look in that picture, there's one of Sam's guys, his common Kaze character. In, in um Stan Lee is has his arm around him and the great somebody. Yeah, well, some other cosplayer, <laughs> but I was in the Kamikaze costume, and so he has his armor on me, and he looks over at me. He goes, "You're not a girl, are you?" I said, "No." <laughs> goes, okay, that, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Dude. I think what his uh, Navi attire would be. And Sandy, you said you did get to see Avatar too, right? Yeah, I saw it. I think I think it's just you and me, and maybe John if he shows up. I don't think Ron has seen it. I don't think Ron has any interest in seeing it. Yeah, I saw it the week it came out because I thought it was last week we were drawing that. <laughs> That's good. You're, you're, you're proactive. Hi, Ron. Ron. Hello, everyone. Starting off with Stan Lee drawing, Ron. I don't know if you watched the beginning of the stream. And then we'll go into the, the Avatar stuff. You any, you any Stan Lee stories, Ron? No, I've never met the guy. I got a, I got an Andy Lee... Uh... Story, if you if anybody wanted to hear about that, no, no relation, right? <laughs> I don't think so. Was uh, was Stanley Korean? <laughs> Maybe on his mother's side. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Lieberman. Yeah, his, his, his last name Stanley was Lieberman. Lieberman. Yeah, or I think it was Lee. I think it was Lieber. Oh yeah, something like that. <laughs> Got just at the end, end because well, <laughs> usually it's like that. Yeah. Well, you know, Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man, yeah. <laughs> uh, Batman, Superman. <laughs> um, no, yeah, yeah, Stan Stanley's real name was Stanley Lieber, and his brother Larry Lieber was also a, an artist for Marvel, but Larry stayed Larry Lieber, he never went like Larry Lee. Oh, he wasn't ashamed of his yeah, he was Jewishness. Well, I, you know, some people have like 
theorized that it was to avoid, you know, I guess direct references to his, you know, Jewishness. But yeah. I think it was came more from Lieber is kind of a German sounding name. And I think like that right. during World War Two, maybe he didn't want to have a, a German sounding name. And that Stan Lee sounded more American. Oh, but I, I think back then, you know, there's a lot of Germans in the United States back then. I think as long as your name, your last name wasn't Hitler. Um, yeah. I think you're fine. Well, <laughs> we had a, we had a teacher, a really old teacher, mind you, but you know, I'm pretty old too. <laughs> and, uh, she was a, a Holocaust survivor. Uh huh. And, but you know, she, she, she lived in Germany and she had a German sounding last name, you know, and she was yeah. Jewish, but you know, and like after, like she ended up in Michigan as a, as like a refugee, you know, and she ended up getting like her teaching degree and teaching hmm. and she just stayed in Michigan and right after the war she started getting a lot of like flack from from like kids and they were like because they thought she was like you know because she had this german last name they, oh. they acted like she was like a nazi or something you know like misguided patriotism from these stupid kids right. little did they know it she was a you know a holocaust survivor wow. and uh but and she you know always had to deal with, you know, being sort of an outsider. And of course she had like a German accent and yeah, that didn't help. Right? You well, know. you know, kids are stupid. So, you know, yeah, got to cut them some, some slack. Right? Yeah. But, uh, you know, of course she became kind of a part of the community and I think all that stuff probably faded, you know, she had less and less over the years. But... Yeah. It was, just sign out of times, right? Back then. Yeah. Speaking of, speaking of German, did, do you know what Farfig Nugan meant? Isn't it the joy of driving? Is that, is that what it really means? The joy I, of driving. I believe so. Okay. Commercial, right? Yeah. The old uh, 70s or 80s commercial. Subaru or something. You know what that was? Uh, Subaru. Volkswagen. Volkswagen. <laughs> Subaru. Which, which Volkswagen means <laughs> the people car. Ah. And uh, I believe it was uh, they started manufacturing the the Volkswagen uh, at the urging of Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figure so. He wanted God, a, a, a he wanted an affordable car that the German people could buy. Volkswagen. <laughs> BFW is German also. Yep, uh, Bavarian Motor Works. Yeah. And uh, they used to make uh, German warplanes and <laughs> tanks, and, you know. Yeah, Mitsubishi. There you go. Yeah. I mean, you know. But that other German car, the Subaru. The Subaru. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, I'm going to just say that. Uh, name yeah. a German car, Subaru. So you never you never encountered Stanley at any conventions? No, or I ne never did. Or was if he was there, I was never interested in you know seeing him or anything like that. Yeah, I think he was still part of Marvel maybe at the time. So just another exec, maybe. So don't need to. 
go see him. And then I guess when he retired and started showing up in the Marvel movies, he became popular. <laughs> I mean, I knew Stan Lee as a kid. Commenting. We got, hey guys, hi guys. I don't know who this is. Hi. I don't have my phone on with uh, the stream. Anybody watching the stream on Facebook? No, uh, yeah, it just says Facebook user. Oh, I'm on. Sorry. Stream yard. Oh, it's Napua. He was kind enough to say who it was. Hi, guys. This is Napua. <laughs> did you see? Did you see Napua's post today and the stuff that she was drawing? Her Judge Dread. Yeah, and that yeah. Shaggy and uh, Black Pete. Pete. We yeah. have a tip in the stream. Who's that? <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> well, hello, Tiff. Did, did Ron invite you in? What? Of course, what would invite Yeah. Hello. What can I do? Well, howdy, stranger. How are you? I'm tired. <laughs> I bet. My perpetual stinky you did. <laughs> So since you're here, Tiff, you have to draw Avatar stuff, like I said. Well, right now we're drawing Stan Lee stuff. Oh, yeah? Oh. Today would have been Stan Lee's 100th birthday. Man, 100 years. 100 years of Stan Lee. That's a special one. Well, where's your screen, Ron? Oh, I'm... He, he I'm can. just here for support. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't have like a camera like these guys where you can just draw. I have to, I have to, well, I have to share screen. You have to share the screen and that would just take up the whole thing and that's not good. Well, that... mm -hmm. I mean, I don't have an individual... I don't have an individual camera like these guys. Yeah. I just use my phone. Well, I suppose I could use that, but nah. Look, Go Scott. Ahead. Scott's not even in the stream. Wait, Scott's here? Yeah. Scott will show when yeah. he's ready to show some. Do you do you remember me, Scott? <laughs> or has it been so long? Who, who, who am I talking with? <laughs> it, it's okay. Oh! It's, it's okay. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't mind. Tiff, <laughs> Tiff of the Tiff of the last name no one can pronounce. Tiffany. That's why I changed it like to, to four letters, and then you look at my name; it's like super easy to say. That's that's what she got. Married. I have to blend oh. in, which is nice. How are you doing? me no i think he was talking to me i'm doing great oh okay <laughs> <laughs> doing fantastic as they say like sam who's sam fantastic sam <laughs> Fantastic Sam, the um, the haircut place. Yeah, okay, so that that didn't fly. Bingo! If you have to explain the joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll put that to the side. Do not use. <laughs> no, put it in a Bob's Burger or, or something. <laughs> 
That sounds like something more than a Family Guy episode. You have a barber? Oh yeah? You think the cinnamon is fantastic. And if you guys hear a lot of background noise on my part, let me know. I'll go ahead and mute my mic. Oh, we, have, we have music playing there. Block out that yeah, unlicensed music. It's a uh, royalty free music. Royalty free. Damn, they come after you for even using it in the stream like this? Heck yeah. Wow. You know, the, the, the Saturday Night I... Live put us, put us ding. <laughs> um, Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I, I've used royalty free music. Uh, I use a program called Music Maker Jam and I, I kind of mix my own stuff. Man, Damn, you're mix DJ your own now. stuff? Yeah, you're not technically DJ work. <laughs> no, it's 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 not that it's not that cool. You know, it comes with like pre can tracks and you kinda of put things in the order you want and... Isn't that what a DJ does? Sample? No, Ron, they drink and get to meet hot girls and party all night long. I mean, the ACDC. I used to DJ. That Wait. sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I was gonna say, doesn't Sandy DJ? Yeah. <laughs> oh, because I'm not a guy. <laughs> hey, whatever floats your boat, Sandy. We won't, we won't tell. Pitch. I've tried to do that. I guess there's this app that, that allows you to sort of DJ. Yeah, it didn't work. <clears throat> you know, when you first started off, I'm like, oh man, this this is awesome. And afterwards, when you look at right, it, hey, John. Stan, Hello. Stan V. Stan the V. <laughs> hey, it's pretty Beaver. clever. Stan Bieber. Stan Nubby. John is here. Hey, hey John, we're, we're starting off with quick uh, Stan Lee sketch before we get into Avatar since oh, it's Stan's yeah. 100th birthday. Nice. I was thinking about that. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't get really a chance to like look for my things. Darren says Avatar Two makes his top favorite movies. Of 2022, along with Batman and Sonic 2. That's a yeah, cool eclectic mix of movies. <laughs> a lot of sequels. That's well, Batman I, did, I didn't see Avatar, so I don't know why I'm here. Well, I thought you did. What? You haven't no, seen Avatar? Watch it. You heathen. No, I didn't get out of the... here. <laughs> I know. About... Yeah, get out of here, John, since you didn't screaming at it. me. <laughs> don't make me come over there because I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna draw blue people. That's all I'm gonna do. Smurfs. Who's rich? Man, yeah, Avatar Two much. was the best movie since Avatar One. Was it really? <laughs> I Did don't you know. See I, it? Didn't, I didn't watch it. See? Before you get to that, do you, you have any Stan Lee stories, John? Do I have? <laughs> I have that one, but uh, what that one? You know. Um, Make sure oh, it's family friendly what? first. I met I met Brandon Lee. Wow. No, re no, re no relation. No, 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 no relation. Oh. What about Jason Scott Lee? Oh yeah, I uh, met him too. Yeah. No, no <laughs> relation. Jason Lee. Jason Lee. Chun Lee. Jason Lee. Uh, my name is Earl. Chun Lee. <laughs> Jason Lee and Stan Lee were in Mallrats together. Uh, they were, oh, but yeah. they're not related, are they? No. Because he's no. Stanley Lieber. Oh, you like Stan, Stan Lieb, Lieber? Yep, Stanley, Stanley Lieber. Lieber. <laughs> but. <clears throat> I, I met him a couple of times at the, um, the San Diego Comic Con. He was nice. He, he, he was very pleasant. Um, one year when I went, um, this was with uh, Kevin Sano and uh, Eric Osaki. Um, 
we were just like on the convention floor and it was like it was pretty crazy because it's like there was this one booth and they had a stack of like these autographed pictures of him and they said just take this image and go up to the second floor to signing and you'll get an autograph but you just had to stand in the line in the autograph session which took kind of a long time maybe about like 30 40 minutes you know but yeah. it was free you know back then it's like it, it, it didn't cost oh, wow. anything yeah so that that's why a long time ago you know <laughs> yeah but it was really funny because when i when I, what's that you got pay for a lot of Nowadays, you Stanley do. was a it was a hundred dollars when he was at. Uh, yeah. Oh my god! Amazing, Ooh. yeah, amazing. So it was well, it was kind of neat because when we went up there, um, Kevin Sano took the picture of me when I said it's like, hey, I saw you on that uh, that Spike TV show. It was like some kind of like a like a hidden like a candy camera kind of thing. It was called I think it was called Oblivious or something like that. And he he had this really shocked look. So it looks like I told him like the most ridiculous thing in the world kind of things. He didn't know like great. Photo, right? Yeah, you caught that photo, you know, kind of thing. But that was that was, that, that, that was kind of neat. That's fine. Um, Is it because he didn't know he was on on that show? No, no, no. I think he was shocked that I, I said I saw it because he didn't uh, realize that it was broadcasting. So oh, he maybe says, that's, yeah. that's a sign he didn't like that show or something. <laughs> no, I mean, he was okay with it. I mean, uh, shortly after that, I think they... I think he did that TV show that uh, Who Wants to Be a Superhero or something like that. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, no, no, it was, it was yeah. I mean, like I said, I never, I never talked to Stan, you know, about anything um, professionally or anything. But. <laughs> there was one that was actually pretty funny where um, Scott. I don't know if you remember this when uh, Gordon was with me, and there was that one year we were at San Diego Comic Con. And just happens I was at Fillier's booth and Stan was walking the floor and he posed with some people and I managed to like, you know, get my phone out and took a picture of him. And right when he was leaving, that's when Gordon got his phone out and <laughs> he took a photo. And when, when we saw the image, it was like blurred. It was like, it was like a Bigfoot picture. Kind of thing. And he kept the man with, look, it's Dan. It's Dan Lee. And I was like, it's a blur. You can't tell who it is. It's like Bigfoot. You know? It's like the sighting. It's Stan Lee. Mm -hmm. Sure. It is. And they're like, yeah. Sure yeah. In the Pacific. No, it's Stan Lee. They didn't want like the fifth. taking pictures of Stan. I swear it is. It is Stan Lee. Believe me. Like, please believe I, me. I have that, that image of the famous... Bigfoot picture where he's walking. <laughs> That's kind of what it was. It was like this blur. That's, you know? that's funny. Uh, oh, hey, I, I met Rick Rare. Oh, yeah? yeah, he, he, yeah I just, just wanted to throw that out there. But the time he came to Amazing, um, you know, a lot of people, the first Amazing, of course, you know, people were just like going gung-ho because he hasn't been to, you know, he hasn't been to Hawaii in like forever, like the 90s. And I guess because for Amazing, it was kind of like coined as the first Comic-Con. So, of course, tons of people came up to that one. Um, Gwen got me tickets to go get his autograph. And, you know, I was so frantic trying to get ready for the show. So I just grabbed whatever I could find. And I didn't even have my comics at the time because my comics were at my mom's house. And, um, you know, we're so busy trying to set up and everything. So I, gra I grabbed the only thing that I saw like really fast before I went to the convention, which was um, the DVD set of Stripperella. <laughs> you know how it says, Stan, Stan Lee presents Stripperella. Oh, man. <laughs> so, and I didn't think I'd even put it in a package or anything. So here am I standing in line. And there's all these kids in line and everything. I'm just like, ooh, maybe I didn't think this through. You know what I mean? So I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I go to line and I finally get up to him. And I, sh you know, I show it to him. I don't know where his handler went. His handler stepped out for a minute, but he looked at it. He makes his face and he pulls it down and he signs right across the face of, you know, because there's an image of um, Schiparella on the cover. He signs right across the face and he just kind of pushes it back to me. And I was literally <laughs> taken aback. I'm like, wow what, what was that all about and anyway i got it like you know authorized that was his signature and everything and when we looked it up um apparently there was a 
Now, the time that he did this, like, obviously, this is when he was um, not part of Marvel anymore. Because remember, Marvel let, let him go for a little while. And he was kind of doing stuff on his own. Apparently, there was a a actual stripper named Stripperella who was trying to sue Cam Anderson for use of the name without permission. And I think it actually went to Stan because he was in charge of it. So I mm -hmm. think he got sued for, for, the, for it. So I'm pretty sure that left the, you know, an ugly impression on him. So I was kind of like, oh, great. Now Stanley hates me. <laughs> great. <laughs> so, but years later, what happened was he, he was doing one more signing at Other Realms. And it was, a, it was on a Sunday. So it was the same time as my comic strip. So I actually drew a comic strip about Stanley visiting and same gag as like you guys did. It's like, it's like, oh, is he related to Jason Lee or, you know, all these other, you know, Lees. And then, so I had the comic strip and I had the newspaper with me. And so I said, well, I'm going to try to redeem myself. And when I went there, I stood in line and then he looked at it. And it's funny because the handler was kind of like, oh, no, 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 he, he, we, we can't sign like unauthorized things. I said, no, 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 it's a, it's a comic strip. I, I, I drew of him. And then, so the handler read it and then he like oh he read it to um stanley and he laughed and he just kind of said like oh that's pretty good but you didn't make me look enough like um um brad pitt <laughs> and then so he was you know he gracefully signed it and i got it authorized and everything so so that was nice so i felt like i kind of like you know atoned <laughs> for that you know it, it would have been funny if you looked you go did you bring me a stripper railer CD? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he would even remember. Yeah, but that, boy, that would have been funny, though, right? That would have been I funny. I remember you. Get that out of here with awkward. your stripper roller DVD. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Love you, Stan. Excelsior. <laughs> here, Darren says, uh, he, he once asked Stan if he ever thought of being an artist himself. And he said, if I recall correctly, he said, he can draw, but prefers to let others be better artists draw before for him eh, okay Stanley did a nice um, drawing, drawing for he did a nice drawing for of uh, Usagi Ojimbo for uh, Stan Sakai it was like a spider rabbit kind of thing it looked pretty good aside from the feet everything else looked good Any any of any of you guys rent uh you know got anything signed from Stan or visited him or anything? I, I have not had no? the opportunity. Oh okay. I have not never it. paid for an autograph yet. For my oh really? <laughs> That's, that too. Just... Yeah. Yeah, me too. Well, I can pretty much forge it, so. Oh, okay. I see how it works. <laughs> I got <laughs> <laughs> It's a joke, people, for the two of you actually watching. <laughs> I I would have, but I don't know. A hundred bucks was a lot. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the YouTube uh, spam sex bots to show up again. Oh, yeah, the sex bots. That's, it's too bad AI wasn't around when Stan was trying to be an artist. He would have been big. I think, I think Stan did okay. <laughs> I would have been bigger. No. Well, apparently... You know, he he hung around the back in the early days before Marvel was Marvel and it was timely comics. Mm -hmm. He'd be hanging around there when he was like 13 years old. And I guess he was kind of a I guess he was kind of a menace. <laughs> when he was a, uh, according to Jack Kirby, he was like running around uh playing in ocarina 
Oh. And, dri and driving what everybody. Hell, What's the age difference between Jack Kirby and Stanley? I thought they were around the same age. Jack was older. Like, I, was I think when, because I think Jack was like, you know, maybe 20 or 22 or 23, maybe. When and Stan was only like 13? Yeah. Whoa. What is this thing about people hanging around Jack Kirby? Didn't you say like Len Wein and those guys he's staying out with? Oh, that's a thing to do back then, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, like Len Wein and Marv Wolfman looked, looked him up in the phone book and just knocked him. They were like 10 and 11 years old. <laughs> Knocked on the door, and I guess Roz Kirby answers the door, and like young Len Wein and Marv Wolfen are standing there, asking like if this is where Jack Kirby lives, and she's like yes, and they wanted to see him, and so Roz is like hold on, and I guess she went and asked Jack if he would mind if a couple of fans came down to to meet him, because I guess he would draw in the basement, and uh, he was like okay, but they got to be quiet. So Roz comes out and tells us, like, you, go, you boys can go down there, but you got to be real quiet. And so Marv Wolfman and Len Wein just sat there, didn't make a peep, and just, you know, watched Jack Kirby draw all day. And then Roz would come down, I guess, and to bring Jack his lunch. And she made some sandwiches for Marv and Len. And uh, they ate lunch with Jack and talked to him a bit. And then he resumed drawing and then... He was like, all right, kids, get out of here. And then he gave them both a drawing. And, and apparently they would come back and do that, like, periodically. Just go visit Jack. <laughs> Every day. Yeah. I got a lot of drawings. I don't know. I just I, I really kind of love that story. Yeah, I think it's great. But, yeah, Stan, Stan Lee apparently would hang around in the Marvel offices and kind of just, I guess he was dancing around playing in ocarina and just being a goofball but I guess he was he was sort of a gopher and then you know they'd give him like some I guess some editing and writing jobs to do and you know the rest is history yeah why does none of the characters play ocarina I don't. I don't know how much that is true. It's kind of a weird. It's a weird thing to remember. But, but Jack Kirby is talking about him playing an ocarina, and he's specifically an ocarina. So. Yeah. I, mean, I never knew what an ocarina was until like, you know, Legend of Zelda. <laughs> yeah, it's the only time the ocarina had time. But, uh, I'd never heard of it before either. I mean, Totoro he played an ocarina, right? Oh, did he? Yeah. There's the one he's in the trees, and then they're all playing like the ocarinas. Yeah, they had a little parade thing going. Yeah. I haven't watched it in a while. I'm gonna need to yeah. <laughs> look for the ocarina. Yeah. So what do you guys think of the, uh, oh, you guys didn't see it, huh? Just me and Sandy, huh? Oh, Ocarina? No. I mean, Avatar, Sandy? Uh, Avatar. Avatar. Because what I was going to ask was, well, well Tiff saw it, right? I'm going to know or not. It's um, like the, the water tribe that they put in this new movie. Yeah, like I a lot it. Of, a lot of their stuff they borrowed from, um, like, Maori and Samoa. Mm -hmm. That's cultural appropriation. Right, that's what I was wondering. Is like, are we cool with that? <laughs> oh, I'm not some social justice warrior. I don't care. <laughs> Exploit because, all you want. I think it's because they're blue. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, it, is it? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> I like all I can think back to is like when they did the uh, the Star Wars prequels and the the Federation trade uh, the Trade Federation you know were like the, the voices they had oh my god those accents 
Cool. <laughs> I don't think that's cool. Why? What was up with the trade federation? Go go back and watch them and see see who they're imitating. Do it now. I don't wanna. I don't wanna watch those movies again. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, good. I know that there's like a whole generation that that like that's their Star Wars. They're welcome to it. That's 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 fine. <laughs> Misa, Misa, think you old old man. <laughs> Oh, that man. Poor, that poor guy. Who, Jar Jar? The guy that played Jar Jar. I mean... Yeah, um, Ahmad Vest. Be, be, yeah, this is before the internet really took off, but man, he got so much shit. What's he doing these days? Hiding. <laughs> no, he, he's, he's like openly talked about how, how you know, damaging and depressing that, that time yeah. was. But he, he's he's made peace with it and kind of moved on, you know. On ice. Yeah, you, you ever read the uh, or read or listen to the uh, the short story about like Jar Jar after afterward? No, I don't read. Ah, that explains a lot. I seen the yes. robot chicken one. <laughs> it doesn't count. Now there's a, there's a there's a cute little side story where you know he's just like in a in a town and he he's like the, the local town weirdo. Wow. Oh. And you know they ask him about it and it's like this is what makes me happy to, to see the kids laugh. You know, it's actually a touching story and you're like ah oh, poor Jar Jar. But then but then I I also think about those theories like Jar Jar is a Sith Lord. You know? <laughs> He, he's the one that gave the emperor the control of the senate, right? <laughs> it's... it's true. His vote had no confidence. What did you do this? So, Tiff, what have you been up to in the last? Like, how long has it been since we talked? Two years? Oh, Tiff's here. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh... I guess we did talk. We did talk during the pandemic, so it's been less than two years, but not much less. Yeah, I don't even know what I've been up to. It just feels like I was asleep the whole time. I've been up to nothing exciting at all. Nothing. What about, what about Robert? Um. Um. I don't know. Playing games. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Enjoy being a civilian. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he hates it, but he also likes it because it's not like he has to wake up at five a.m. anymore. Yeah, that's a plus. That is most definitely a plus. But yeah, I really like have fun. Yeah, there's not a lot I miss about being in the military. I did like having a uniform because you didn't have to worry about what I'm going to put on this morning. <laughs> that is such a like, um, you know, thing. What are you to put on? It's a, it's a guy thing, right? <laughs> you can say Don't it. You always like, have to like keep it clean and all that. Some people like to iron their uniforms or have their wives do it or, you know, iron. <laughs> but not me. No, 
Uh, yeah, I I mean, you guys know I'm in Washington now, right? State. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Did I ever tell you about my my drive up from Oklahoma? I don't believe so. Is there something you want to share on air? Remember, we are live. Oh, man. <laughs> just making sure. Well, I just, you know, this is a reminder, you know. It's okay. I, I just wanted to say that I, I did it. I hate driving, so. I only died, or I almost died once. Like, by a, um, what are they called? Those big trucks? You know? Semi? Semi? Yeah, semi truck. Almost, uh, yeah, I, let's just say I, uh, almost died. For sure. But, I'm alive. Yay. And I hope so. I think so. I don't Close. know. Maybe you guys are like my dream or I'm your dream. I don't know. I mean, You're my dream. Zombie a road trip without a near death experience, at least one near death experience, just isn't a road trip. So. <laughs> right? I'm glad somebody like can reassure me that a lot of people probably nearly die on road trips. <laughs> yeah. So the truck almost hit you? Um so you know you how there's passing chicken. lanes? Like you used to drive on the right lane, right? Right. Unless you're passing. So I didn't I was passing, we're trying to pass the truck. Yeah. But I didn't realize the road ends because the truck blocked the sign to indicate that the roads were converging into one. Oh. So at the last minute I had a choice but to cross into the oncoming traffic wave to get in front of the semi truck. Oh. But thankfully nobody was driving toward us. Otherwise I would have gotten slammed head on. <laughs> or had to eat it with the semi truck. But by God I actually lived through it. And nothing happened at all. Okay. But I did drive through um, Colorado and Utah. Oh, and a lot of other places. But I gotta water. say, Colorado and Utah was really beautiful. It's so pretty to drive through those states. And the canyons, the Red Canyons, and then Colorado's like, I don't know what they call them. Like the, the way that the stones stand in the middle of the desert. I'm sure you've seen pictures of it. Man, it's some of the prettiest stuff I've seen in my life. I would I would almost die again just to see them. Oh yeah, and you guys remember Gabby Petito? The girl who died because her husband murdered her? White chick. Wait, what? The, the white chick that died, um, Gabby Petito, there's like a nationwide, you know, manhunt for her husband. Oh, and because, that's the one they found him in the swamps of Florida or something, right? Yeah, he like killed himself. Yeah. Yeah, I drove through Moab when they were in there, apparently. Oh. Yay. That was cool. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did Where's you see, them on, did you see them on the side of the road or something? No, I just found, you know, when they put the news out that they were in Moab. You were just the there. Yeah, we were driving, we drove right through there at the same time. It's like, wow, <laughs> look at that. And did you watch the video and it's like, hey, that's and, a car. And did you and Robert high five wow. after hearing that revelation or? Mm, no, but I was like, wow, I, I feel like I really. I lived through something crazy and exciting. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Absolutely nothing happened to us. <laughs> but yeah, it was just stupid little things, you know, that are, wow, that happened. <laughs> that is a thing that happened. Yeah. <laughs> we could have saved Gabby Petito, man. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, man, so morbid. Can I cut that from the stream? No, yeah, kidding. it's cut. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's live. It's live. Yeah, not TV, but. <laughs> All right, everybody. Forget I said that. It's the same thing. Um. 
But yeah, that's me. Well, the only exciting thing on a road trip, just for us when, when we were kids driving from Virginia to Florida, was, I think I told you this, there was a, there was a traffic stop, or the traffic stop, because there was an alligator basking in the middle of the road. Nice. What, what about the time your parents like, like abandoned you at the Grand Canyon? Oh, wait, that was Joe Dirt. Oh, yeah, that was uh, <laughs> <laughs> Joe Dirt. Is that what happened to you? Was that, yeah, and then what happened? To, wasn't the Grand Canyon abandoned, man? Yeah, was it at the Grand Canyon? I thought it was, for some reason, I thought it was Monument Valley or something. I don't know. Could have been. Something like that. We wanted to go see the alligator, but Highway Patrol said no. <laughs> When I said, when I, when I refer to me or we, just me and my brother and my cousins, I don't think the adults uh, thought that was a good idea either. But we're from Hawaii. We've never seen an alligator in the wild before. Yeah. I, uh, my, my grandma used to live in a trailer park. Like she would spend the winters in a trailer park in Florida. This, I think it was called Lake Glenada. And uh, okay. she, uh, you know, she just would like hang out at this trailer park. And I went down, uh, like, she would always come back in the spring to Michigan. So my father sent me down to Florida, like, flew me down and told me I had to drive, you know, grandma back up to Michigan. Uh -huh. And I got to hang, hang out for a few days. And, uh, I was down by the lake sitting on the pier and I had my toes dangling in the water and it was getting, it was like just around sunset, like not quite sunset. And my grandma came down and she was like, you might want to pull your feet out of the water. And I was like, why? And she's like, cause the gate, the gators come up, you know, when it, when the sun goes down. Yeah. You've never seen Lake Placid? And come up before I don't now. think it I don't think it had come out yet yeah. back then. But um and I was like, I don't see any. And it was just starting to get, you know, like the sun hadn't gone down all the way, but it was getting a little dark. And my grandma pulled out this flashlight and shined it at the surface of the water. And you could see all these glowing eyes. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, all right, you don't believe me. And I was like, I was like, all right, I was like, all right, Grandma, I'm coming inside. <laughs> you've, con you've convinced me, Grandma. There were tons of them out there in that lake. Just... Was well, your, dad was, your dad was telling your grandma, just let the boy learn. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. But, uh, and then one day we went to go get the mail. And uh, there was an alligator that just decided to park its keister <laughs> right in front of the, the post office. Just sitting there. So nobody could get in to get their mail. They had to wait till it got up and walked away. Could it like poke it with a stick or anything? I got cl pretty close to it and got to get a good look at it. And I think I took pictures of it, but I don't know. This is back in the pre-digital camera days. Ooh. But uh that was, it was the interesting. Portable camera day. Days. I I had like a, a like a it was a Fuji camera. Ah yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's my alligator story. Anybody else with an alligator story? No alligators. Oh, we're doing. Uh, you guys ready to show some Stan Lee or some? We don't have alligators at the zoo, do we? We have crocodiles, right? There's a gorilla, and I'm trying to think. I think there are crocodiles. Yeah, but I don't think we have alligators. Crocodiles get bigger than alligators. Yeah. After a while, mammoth jams. Hey, didn't that come out on DVD already? That Lyle crocodile, whatever. 
Anyway. Oh, I don't know. Lyle, Lyle, crap, I don't know. I used to like those books when I was a kid. Yeah. Hey, did I still publish highlight? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't, Highlights? I haven't seen, I haven't seen yeah, anybody actually. in the doctor's office in ages. <laughs> my uh, friend my... still... <laughs> Last time I saw it was, I think it was at a dentist office, dental office. I think that's a requirement. Yeah, the <laughs> dental office. What are you saying, Drew? Sorry. My friend's uh, son has a subscription to highlights for children. Oh. Is there highlights for adults? Yeah, but that's, uh, that's behind the counter. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, one, one guy I follow, he does like those hidden picture things for highlights. Yeah, you were telling you were telling me about that. You do a guy that yeah. works for highlights. I like those. I like those hidden pictures. I'm amazed how they do those things. They're so detailed. It's like, it's like where's Waldo kind of? Oh. Anyway, sorry. So. Showing off Stan Lee. Are we doing that? Yeah, are we ready for first round? Yeah, I'll show what I got. All right, there he is. All right, very 70s, 70 Stan Lee. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's how I remember. Nice oh, nice. work. <laughs> that's that's uh, the the nude uh, on the couch Stan Lee. Yes, yeah, so I was real. One, I was one. real tempted to draw that one, <laughs> but I. But my, uh, you know my. My better judgment. Uh, that was after the Burt Reynolds, right? Yeah. Uh, like you're doing the Burt Reynolds thing? Yeah. Is that what it was? Yep. Yeah. Right, the uh, famous. Who's uh, next? <laughs> Scott's ready. Here we go. Scott's got. Uh, oh, look at this. A tiny Stan Lee. <laughs> oh my God, that is so cute. <laughs> it's minimalist, but it works. <laughs> I like it. Somebody says, wow, Drew, that's yeah, amazing. I'm, I'm guessing that's still Napua, Facebook user. All right, thank you, Scott. Yeah, this is Napua. All right. Uh, oh, John, cool. and you. Uh, I came in late. I never screw up one, so we're going to throw that inside. Then I found out there's an animated Stan Lee, which I copied. Nice. And then I did. And then I did this one. Hey, showing us something too, Stanley. Yeah. Right. I well, Kip, are you drawing tonight, or are you just visiting? I'm just visiting. No worries. Okay, Ron, are you gonna post stuff at the end? Sandy, you got something? Um. Wait, what is that on top of your shelf? I feel like there's something staring elf. at me. It's the elf on the show. Now look at that. Wow. That's good. Very nice. 100 years. It's Stan Lee on the shelf. <laughs> it's Stan 100 Lee. years. Excelsior. Cool. Excelsior. <laughs> you already saw mine, but there's my Stan in the B. Yeah. I think Stan would be very happy. All right. I'm actually going to be working on something else. So I'm going to tear off my. You got, a, you, got, you got a nice shading, Sandy, and a cute John. Cute Thank you. John. Thank you. Oh, the drawing. Okay. Very nice. Very smooth. I like John. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to draw next. Anyone doing anything, anyone doing anything special for New Year's Eve? No, I'm just gonna be trying to plug my ears from the fireworks. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the cat. Keep them inside. Let's see, so here's, here's the other like, one I did. This is I keep one. Zori inside. A quick Konawari. That's uh, one of the. That's the chief of the water tribe in the new movie. Hmm. Chief was the cool one of the cooler characters. I think you should make. I think you should make them meet up with. Uh, Namora from, from Aquaman, uh, from uh, Wakanda. John, John, did you just yeah. 
mistake. I, I did more for Aquaman. I did. I'm very tired and tired. <laughs> you mean Mara or? Yeah, I meant Namora. Namora, you know from Namora Aquaman. The, Namora the, the Explorer. Namora. Yeah, I think I should I'm the one. map. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do that one. Namora oh, the man. Explorer. That's pretty yeah. good. That sounds like one of your Can Punches you Dragons. Like, you do Dora the Explorer and Namora the Explorer. There you go. <laughs> one of John's puns. The one with the, the hat. Fedora the Explorer. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm trying to figure out if I want to try and draw one of the... the Creatures from the Pandora. I think this flight. What, what were the what were the big the things called, Sandy? A tokla, tok, tok, tolak, or something? What is it? I thought it was. Uh, I don't even remember. Trakmakto. 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 In the chalk. Big John. Kalima. <laughs> I will say this. Avatar 2 is very pretty. And okay. it is better than the first one. Okay. Um, I, haven't, I haven't seen the reviews. Have What were what, what the... Uh, what are the critics... All the been? reviews have been pretty good that I've read. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. It, it was a little long for my taste. And, mm -hmm. and, and That's I, what she know, said. I was, like I'm Titanic. a visual guy, but... There's a lot of like just beauty shots in the, the movie. They don't really push the story forward. That's what she said. Right. No, that's that's a money shot. That's not a beauty. Shot. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well then. Hi oh. <laughs> what what is our rating gone on? Ah, Takun, Takun. That's what it's called. Takun. Huh? Was it? That sounds racist. I don't know. Oh, this, oh, this, is, a, this is a Takun. A tycoon. It doesn't look like, thir like Thurston Howell. <laughs> Love me. Oh, tycoons man. are like whale-sized creatures, but it's kind of oh. like a stand-in for like a tortoise, you know. <laughs> I see. I think our, I think our viewership dropped by fifty percent from one or two to one. <laughs> Takuna Mata <laughs> Takuna Matata. <laughs> These are the jokes, folks. <laughs> we'll be here all for week. another hour. <laughs> Get out. Just eight dollars a week. Eight dollars a week. week. You can fix my cam. With my no, cam the cost of drive to subscribe. For the cost to this. of a cup of coffee, <laughs> you can feed a family of Navi <laughs> and work. <laughs> I know, a cup of coffee is getting close to eight dollars. <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. Send it to this Facebook page <laughs> and we'll make sure we get it to them. And then uh, the Takun have um I don't know who designed them, but they, they feel very Guillermo del Toro because they have those mouths that open up like that, you know? <laughs> Didn't they have those like what was what was that uh the one they were predicting, like the evolution of animals in the future, kind of like that. Yeah, like a National Geographic special or something. Is that the one where they're like super creepy looking? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh my god, what is it? Is that like I that Momo uh, thing? <laughs> Maybe use that that maybe anymore. future of man. I think that's the one. John, what is the song about the gorilla? <laughs> From uh, what was that? The Twilight Zone with Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Look at the gorilla, where he belongs in the zoo. I don't know why, but it cracks me up every time. Oh. <sighs> Oh, it was, I think, John, you're referring to man after man. That's the one. Oh, man. I love those. Those creepy. 
very, oh. uh... No, there's no image. Oh. Not on. I'm drunk! <laughs> drunk with power? Oh, lord. What are you drinking? Uh, not that much. Water. It's, <laughs> it's a young coconut juice with rum. Oh, okay. That sounds good. Ooh. It's delicious. <laughs> ben and I just watched uh, Glass Onion tonight. It was actually pretty entertaining. Oh, did you like it? Yeah, I didn't watch the first one. A lot of people said the first one was better. What, uh, there's a the first out. one? Knives Can out. Can you watch it without the first one, do you think? I, I think it's find it. I mean, John, stories, but John did. I would have to. Oh, yeah, you, you can watch it. it without the first one. If there's, there's nothing to tie back to the first one. Yeah. All right. I don't want to. Are there to recurring watch characters in the first one? Just, well, just, just the same just detective. Uh, detective, right? Yeah. Okay. Then he got Daniel, Daniel Craig. James Bond himself. Is that my James Bond? Oh, here we go. Who is your James Bond? Dude? George Lazenby. Good. <laughs> Who? That drunk? No. <laughs> my James Bond is Johnny English. <laughs> Tiny English, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Do we remember that? That's see. Oh, Where, where's that from? James Bond, the early one. He legit, like, you gotta slap the woman or some shit like that. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah, we're ready to we EMA. Yeah. Okay. We are. Even TVMA <laughs> sounds dirty. Yeah, um, oh, man. In the, uh, man, in the man with a golden gun. Um, yes. Yeah, James Bond slapped around a woman to get some info. Yeah. But isn't isn't that where um, Austin Powers took that whole one million from? No, that's from, guy that's from the whole. I think that was from Goldfinger. Yeah. Oh, that was Goldfinger. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of gold in James Bond. There's Goldfinger, there the man with the golden, golden gun, gun, Golden Eye, the yeah. guy Golden Girls, gold oh, gold really? girls. Goldberg, Golden Grail, The Arthur. Yeah. I feel like this is going into dark territory. Uh, this went into dark territory a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, See, I, in, I, I, I wasn't Roger there a Moore. movie called something, The Dark Territory or something? That's Under Siege. Under Siege 2. Oh, yeah, Under Siege. With the... Uh, on the train, right? Yes. That was so stupid. But entertaining. It, it, What's that guy? <laughs> the uh, uh, keto guy? Oh, um... Yeah, what's his name? Who? Kato? Nah, the Aikido guy. Uh, Under siege. Siege. with the ponytail. Yeah, Steven Seagal. Oh, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. That's it. Yeah. That guy is real. Of Steven Seagal. Is he related to Katie Seagal? <laughs> Thankfully, no. Man, Katie Seagal is hot. How old is she now? Like seven years old now, right? Or sixteen? Uh, she kept it tight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, she did. She's, a, she's an attractive lady. So Avatar. <laughs> I think yes. it's me too. So you would recommend it? Yeah, I mean, it's worth a watch, but I, I will warn you, it, it, it feels like the three hours, at least it did to me. Uh-huh. And there's water. Why? I need a lot of water. Three hours. <laughs> Did you have to use the restroom after seeing, I mean, doing the film? Seeing all that water? Nah. If you, if you avoid drinking during watching it, you're fine. <laughs> and you're not over 50. <laughs> oh man, I'm wow. very insensitive of me. For all Zing. those with IBS, but, um, you know, or you're over fifty. You're over fifty. 
it should come with the warning so you bless the baby. What are you you have some problems? I got a know. 50 and over is not allowed. I got a warning. <laughs> Nice thing about the pens, you just pull them out. You know? Just make sure you got a big old sippy cup ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I have a uh, pull ups. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Drew's just like, just wear the damn thing. You don't even have to get up. He's prepared. My movie. My poops have elbow on them. <laughs> it's like you have the loose pants you wear to the buffet, and you then you, you know the you wear a lot of weeks. Yeah, cause you know, because you're a big boy now. <laughs> you're a big boy. Now. You got big boy now. <laughs> Other movies are coming out. Is like, are, are we done with like new movies for this? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> new Year is coming up. Right? Yeah, this yeah. is the last week, so I guess the so. last week of the year. Yeah. Gosh. I still find it hard Do to believe. Not... It's like it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't register yet. Well, it's like any other day, right? <laughs> Do the Navi have belly buttons? Can't tell. They do, I think, right? Because they have the umbilical cords. Yeah, but that's. Oh. I thought that's to their head, their hair. Is it the tail? Oh, no, the tail. The I don't I know, don't but know. they do have gravity defying clothing. There you go. I that's don't... probably fortunate. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's weird, but. I think gravity works different on Pandora. Yeah. Not the same. Yeah, the floating rocks. So. Yeah, they got the floating rocks, so they mm -hmm. have this gravity, the, the unobtainium that makes you float, but the clothes cling to the body amazingly. <laughs> so nothing Cause, gets revealed. Because they're all wet. <laughs> they cling on. Haven't you ever had to jump in the water with your clothes on? It sticks to you. <laughs> <gasps> exactly. <gasps> <gasps> yeah. Science. Mike. This is science. They hired scientific experts to make sure this movie was accurate, Michael. <laughs> Did they? So that's where the billions went. <laughs> that's why it took 12 years to make this movie. <laughs> yeah, it was 12 years to make, and I think it was. I don't know. I just, I just pulled 12 out of the air. I don't know how long it was. There you go. Oh, okay. What, yeah, what, if it was 12 years, 11 of it was just scientific research. Right. And then after this you know is the Battle Angel Alita. Oh man, Battle Angel Alita. I liked Battle Angel Alita. I did. Yeah, I did too. And it got quiet. Because I'm, yeah. <laughs> because I, I'm trying to remember what it was. I remember I liked it. It was that robot lady. It was Rollerball. Robot yeah, I can vaguely remember those scenes. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed watching it, whatever I can remember. You enjoyed it, it so much you don't remember it. Mm -hmm. That's the best time. Because you can watch it again and enjoy it. I see. Oh, let's uh, let's clarify the last... schedule for next next month. Okay. So here's what I propose. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously it's not locked in or anything. But, mm -hmm. Um, Archie's. Um, Archie Comics on the fourth. Does that work for everybody? Yeah. Sure. Right, so Ar Archie Comics on the fourth. And then I put down uh, Sam Keith on the 11th. It happens to be his birthday. <laughs> that gives you like the Max and uh, what, what's the Max. other book he's famous for? It's a oh, Hulk. Hulk. Sandman. Sandman. Uh, Sandman. Epicurious, Sandman. the Sage. 
uh, yes. Wolverine. Uh, so we go with Sam the Sam Key for the eleven. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, Sam Key. Yeah, he didn't do Hulk. I don't want to take it. No, he he drew, he did a stint on the Hulk. He did, right? Really? Yeah, he did a few issues. And covers, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so for the 18th, I, I I just have manga, but I, I'm willing to narrow it down. If somebody has a particular manga franchise or move on the third. Oh, or... action manga. Does uh does move on the third count as? Yeah, it does. Um, but actually, this, this year yeah, would have just... been a good one because it's, it would have been his 50th. Oh, what was that? Yeah. This year was the 50th year of, of Lupin. But well, we did one, didn't we? I don't think okay, we did one Lupin episode. Lupin. I'm saying you guys should do a publisher so you could do multiple series. Yeah, yeah it's just like, sh- like showing and jump. Yeah. Yeah, right. And that way you can do bleach and. Yeah, yeah bleach. And Drew Bleach throughout and uh, that test Bleach. Drew throughout Escaflown or um, Escaflown. Uh, well, Escaflown, I, right? I I looked it up. Tiger Mask too. I looked Man. it up to see if the 18th of January had any significance in the history of manga, oh. and I guess yeah. in on January 18th it was the the final installment of Visions of Escafloni or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Oh, big. <laughs> you to watch it. And then, and well, and this is just the the manga, not the the show. Yeah. Um, and then, and also, like, about ten years before that was the final installment of Tiger Mask Two. Ooh. Yes. But I don't really know. I don't know anything about either of those. So. Tiger Mask seems up up your alley, Drew. It's like a it was a wrestling manga. Yeah, he was a wrestler. Wrestling, yeah, with the, the tiger wrestling. mask. Okay, so I, manga, but uh, what do we want to narrow it down to? Uh, I think it'd be anything you want, really. But yeah. I mean, yeah, like like Sandy said, if you say jump, that that's a that's a well, lot. Well, I mean, of, I mean, manga yeah. is like that's like saying comics. We're just gonna do a comics. <laughs> you know, it's like well, well, <laughs> you know. like anything from Shonen Jump. Shonen yeah. Jump? Yeah. yeah. That work for everybody? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Because that could be Shonen One Jump. Piece. That could be One Piece. Hunter yeah, Hunter. Hunter. Uh, and then for the 25th, I have Mad Magazine. Yay. Cool. Mad Those Magazine. All, all right. Mad Magazine. Okay. Let me worry. And then the following week, we can do Cracked. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> We, the, uh, we can look at that for for February. <laughs> that takes that, that satisfies all of January. So Archie, yeah. Sam Key, Shonen Jump, and Mad. Everybody go with that. Man, I guess. Yes. All right. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, I've got to study up on Shonen Jump. <laughs> The rest, I'm I think, sure I you draw, draw a lot of the characters. Yeah, I mean, isn't that what like Dragon Ball was first serialized in with Shonen Jump? Yeah, I mean, there's like a lot of they had all like the big there's ones, a... I think. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. like a video game. There's a video game called Jump Superstars, which is like Smash Brothers, but we're all like the the main characters from Jump magazines. <sighs> The lights on my mouse went out, but it's still working, so I guess we're okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if any of you concerned. Katie Seagal was born in 1954. Whoa. I don't recognize any of these titles yet. <laughs> Four. Shonen Jump. Oh. One Piece? Oh, I get, well. Naruto? Bleach? Uh, City Hunter, yeah. Dr. Slump. <laughs> Dragon Quest. 
Doctor Slump. Really that's the that's there. the girl with the poop sickle that I drew, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The poop, so that was the a poop that was a series he did before Dragon Ball. <laughs> You're a uh, kind, right? That's right. Yeah. I, Kira Kurosawa. You know? Not Kurosawa. So that's <laughs> Kira Toriyama. <laughs> Toriyama. Toriyama. <laughs> And all them Japanese names sound the same. I know. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> was to do Akira oh, serialized in Shonen Jump, or was it in a different magazine? Oh, I think it was a different oh, magazine. Oh, the Jump. Are you looking at a list of like, uh, yeah, and jump sure. yeah, City Hunter? City I Hunter know the Jackie Chan, <laughs> yeah, oh, good. the Jackie Chan movie, City Hunter, but it's based on the manga, so yeah, I can draw Jackie Chan in Chun Li outfit, sure. Why not? <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. What is this RWBY? That's that oh, Ruby? volleyball thing. No, no, they're no. Doing that's a, thing, that's why. They're doing a crossover with the Justice League. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. What, I was yeah. Like, what is this? Yeah, it's been, it's been around for a while. Maybe I can sneak the Justice League in. <laughs> sure, Scott. Go ahead. <laughs> Make me happy. We should have one Wednesday, like no rules Wednesday. Draw whatever you feel like it. That's not good, though. <laughs> yeah, but that's... Because now there's nothing that kind of brings you in. It's like, what am I going to draw? What am I going to draw? I know. Draw you whatever you like. Anarchy. With like six people all draw and spawn. <laughs> there you go. It's like a bad planned picnic. There you go. <laughs> hey, please ring up a potato salad. Yeah. <laughs> We're napkins. You got. Nope, I brought nap. I brought napkins. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. Yeah. You can do uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You can do Slam Dunk, Gintama, Kiniko Man. That, that was Joe. Muscle Man. Oh yeah, you I just got this awesome. Isn't that thing right awesome. <laughs> Look, I have this a little dude. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I had you to put them together. It's a. It's a. What is this? Is this Kaniko Man? It is Kaniko Man. Yeah, the main guy. They used to call him Muscle Man when it was Muscle. Yeah. Why is his hands so, so big? Because he's. He puts the smack down on people, John. He's got big fists. Okay. Yes. No, it's yaoi hands. <laughs> but he's only two. He's only two inches tall, and he has very tiny pieces. And I had to put him together myself. He's like a smurf. It was only pink. Like he's made out of bubble gum. <laughs> Smart. Chew his head right off. He kider. Oh yeah, that's a uh, Shoto Ishinomori. Yeah. Oh, we should have that. <laughs> that's Ishinomori. true, because isn't it going to be his last uh, appearance, Bon Daisuke? Uh, yeah. Was that the fifteenth? Uh, something like that. I better, I better make sure. <laughs> Don't you start. Don't you start, robot. It's so hard when you're trying to do a good job and you've been drinking. <laughs> oh no! 
Well, we call it drinking draw for a reason, Drew. It's all good. Here's Kurt comic for the paper. What are we doing on the 25th again for January? 25th is Mad Magazine. Mad Max. Tales calculated to drive you mad. Spy versus spy. Oh, he's... Ishinomori's birthday was on the 25th. <laughs> and then he dies three days later after his 60th birthday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. More Kikaida. I mean, he, he created... Didn't Ishinomori create the Sentai genre? Pretty much. Kamen Rider. Skullman. Oh, man. Robocon. He had like, what were those, the, the Super Sentai guys, the... Go Rangers? Know? Yeah, Go Rangers. He created them. Yep. That was He did a Cyborg 009. Yeah. And I, I have a, the graphic novel of uh, Zelda. It's beautiful. Like, yeah. right, so what's everybody drawing right now? I'm drawing a Navi. <laughs> no. Anybody else? Navi. I gave up on trying to draw a Tolkien because I couldn't find enough references. <laughs> I don't like to draw just the, you know, exactly what I'm seeing. So I'm trying to make up my own pose, but. Right. Oh, yeah. What, is, what am I drawing now? I what these things are called. <laughs> they like flying fish that they ride. Mm. We're drawing, drawing. It's called a skim wing. So it's like a it's like a flying fish, dragonfly. Uh, what do you call those uh, sharks with like the the needle nose? Uh... Needle nose shark, swordfish. Is it a needle, it a needle nose shark? Right. Sawfish. Soft, yeah. Well, wait, sawfish. Sawfish are ones they have barbs on. This doesn't have barbs. Yeah, they have barbs. So, on. Um, I don't know. I'd say swordfish. Marlin. Marley. Well, they have these long snouts. The skim, skim wings. Imagine, imagine being able to do like the Nobby, just like plug into stuff. <laughs> I got plug in this stuff. That's hot. Bluetooth. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> I'd have to plug in on Bluetooth. I got arrested for plugging in the prints. Uh, again? Well, I, I don't know. I, I'd been sitting <laughs> out in the up. sun, drink, sitting out in the sun, <laughs> drinking some beers, and suddenly it seemed like a good idea to strip down, paint myself blue, and run into the zoo and try to. Plug into animals. Yes. <laughs> uh, 
How'd that go for Next you? step of evolution. Well, uh, I'm almost done with my community service. He's blue, Dabadi. Dabadi. Dabada. Dabadi, Abu Dabada. Oh, yeah, Scott. Yeah, Isao Sazaki passed away. Yeah. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, he's the guy who's saying like the Majinga Z theme and all that. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. That's Ichiro Mizuki. Oh, I'm sorry. Ichiro Mizuki. Wow, I'm really oh, messing up my names today. I was like, wow, we lost both of them. <laughs> yeah. My bad. John's out here killing people that haven't died yet. I know. Hey, John's like, I'm just, I'm just starting rumors tonight. I think you. You've got a lot of cultural insensitivity to Japanese names. I do. I do. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm me. entitled. <laughs> I think I'm entitled, you know? <laughs> like, only me and Scott have, like, the Japanese last names, so, yeah, we're all good. Do you need to do, like, young Frank Frankenstein and start correcting people that's, it's that's Marakami. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was the new thing they were calling me in Maui. What's the, what's the new thing we're calling you now? Do you remember? Do you remember what they were saying, Drew? No, what were they saying? Saying Marakami like a hurricane. Oh, that's right. Here I am, Marakami like a hurricane. I forgot about that. Marakami like a hurricane. We had we had fun on that. Can't wait for the next one. It's a fun con. When is the next one? Probably same time. Yeah, it's always in December. Frank Chokan. <laughs> you gotta come, Ryan. It's fun. Guess what I hear? Did you go one year? Yeah, you were. You did go one year. Yeah. Yeah, 2019, I think. Was yeah. Fun. I was there, but we didn't know each other then. Oh, you were there? Where were you? I was. Uh, kind of off you were in the towards outskirts. the door. Yeah, I was in the outskirts. Yeah. Plus, didn't you kind of spend time with your cousin so you kind of weren't at the con? Uh, they came and visited me at the con. Oh, and I, thought you, the, I thought you took off. And the, the last yeah. day, I I dipped out and went to go spend the day with them before I left. He dipped out. Sorry, it's like, that's the lingo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Can't he hit? Die. Who was next to you in 2019? What? No, Drew. Who was, who was sitting next to you? Uh, Pancho was close by. Yeah. And uh, Elmer. Elmer, Elmer was right by me. Elmer. I think it was me. It was like me, Pancho, Elmer. That's all I remember back there. And there was a dude that was handing out like sanitizers and uh, rainbow stickers right next to me. What? I missed that one. Yeah, I know. I was off in no man's land. Yeah. But, but Pancho did real well. Yeah. Yeah, I was, up, I was on the edge too. Yeah, I said, you're like, always on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> Q, Q uh, Aerosmith right now. Get on the edge. I'm trying to think how that song went. Get on the edge. No, but I was sitting next to. Hey, who was I sitting next to, John? I forgot the name of him. <clears throat> yeah, Young Kimbo. He was something like kind of Japanese friend. Yeah, that guy. I'm trying to think who was on the other side of you. I I don't know. Oh yeah, Swan was next to me. Swan was next to you. Yeah. Then that was anyway. it. Nobody else after him. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we can actually look this up. They actually like archive these things. If oh, you go to Maui, MauiComicCon.com. They actually show the the layout and the programs from previous years. Which I think is pretty cool. Really? Oh. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, back to Avatar. Still, yeah. Sorry. Avatar. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you want to you wanna say something that is not good for oh. to hear? Um, Sounds like fighting words. 
You want to say something? I was like, want to say something? Oh, no. I thought you said that. <laughs> okay. You want to make yeah. something of it? <laughs> yeah, it's about it's about 1030. I think it's a good fighting time. Uh oh, I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends it's, fight. Wait, what's That's, going on now? Somebody I don't know. from what's Hawaiian West Side's coming out. Here we go. Yo, cuz. Or uh, what up, cuz? As I so, learned here. So what's the, what's the fight about? I don't know. I don't know. But I can make something. Oh. <laughs> I can make something. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Will you make me some biscuits? <laughs> Biscuit. You make me. Oh, that's not good. How do I do this? Um... Oh, I know why. I finished watching Hunger Games. Oh, yeah? Or did the Hunger Games finish you? Okay. Did you like watch Willow? I haven't watched Willow yet. I'm I'm hate watching it right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I stopped watching it. I hate watching it. What's, what's wrong with it? It's terrible. Oh, okay. I don't know. This is my opinion. But I'm still watching it. <laughs> Why do you watch it in the I stopped watching it because it you know, feels like more of a teen drama. It's it's a, it's a Disney. It's like a teen Disney show. That's a hundred percent what it is. Teen Disney shows are terrible. I don't know how anybody can stand to watch them. Who was saying the? A lot of people are saying the best movie of the year was uh, Top Gun. Yeah. Not for me. We were just talking about that the other day. I enjoyed it, but I mean, I didn't want to like run out and watch it again. Best movie. Of I, the I'm year. going. I'm going with everything, everywhere, all at once. That yeah, movie a... was freaking incredible. I walked out of the theater with like my brain on fire from that movie. It was so good. Okay. Did you try watching it without it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> It's a different experience. <laughs> I'll have you know, I was sober as a judge when I watched okay. everything, everywhere, all at once. I see. Judge Dredd? <laughs> judge Shaggy. You can't trust him. He's half from his young coconut juice. <laughs> sober as Judge Kavanaugh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like <Wow>. beer. <laughs> <laughs> We went there. <laughs> he didn't specify which judge. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> Here comes the judge. Old Drew and Boof hanging out. Thinking is hard. You're so good at it. Yeah. Really? Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, yes, I know. Thank you. All right, how are we doing on time? An hour and 39 minutes. I don't know if I got, an I don't know if I got another Navi in me. Navi. Mm. Navi, I think of uh, Zelda. Oh, I didn't give him his tail. I didn't give him his tail. Hmm.
And I've been watching a lot of stuff lately, but I, it's not nothing memorable. <laughs> yeah. Like the, the school for good and evil. Um, the Irregulars. Yeah, that one wasn't that good. That's like That's the good. the bake the Baker Street Irregulars, it's like from yeah. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Oh. But it's like got some like uh, you know supernatural elements in it. As you do. As you do. Uh, We're watching the um, recruit. It's not bad. Ah, oh, that's Whoa. like number one on trending, isn't it? No, it's a. Hey, that's that's the one with the uh, Adam, right? The uh, yeah, Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher. Adam Smasher. <laughs> that's what. Uh, that's what and, yeah, Andrew had to tell me. Like, is, is he any oh, good? Okay. I mean, I've only seen him in like a couple things, yeah. and I'm, I'm I'm not impressed. <laughs> it's okay. It, it kind of like reminds me of like watching like Chuck or something like that, you know. I started watching the new season of Jack Ryan. How's that? I mean, if you know, you like that sort of stuff, espionage, spy <laughs> stuff. It's, if you're if you're into those kinds of things, it's kind of fun. It's, uh, very very timely. Mm-hmm. He's there dealing with a a Russia that's kind of run amok. Mm-hmm. Amok. Um, I finished watching a show on Netflix called uh, 1900. Like I liked that quite a bit. And I finished the I finished the peripheral. Oh yeah, what'd you think? I loved it. Like, was I right? It just keeps getting crazier and crazier, right? It's like, oh yeah. Oh, you're in a game. Oh no, you're in the future. Oh no, it's uh, it's split, split dimensions. It's uh, oh, wait. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I dug it a lot. But, uh, oh yeah, the people from the future are you know, sending stuff back in time to come get you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, You okay, robot? He's sleeping. He's snoring. Oh, is that what that oh, is? That's I snoring. thought he had, I thought it was like he had too much to eat and he's just groaning in pain from like a stuffed belly. He's snoring. It's like doing summer. Uh, emo. Like, that's, that's how it sounded after Christmas dinner in my house. Everybody's just, uh. <laughs> the zombie attack. The thing I don't like about the holidays is so much food. Oh, yeah. Too much. I mean, I like it, but it's not good for me. <laughs> you know? I'm drive myself to some kind of ketosis. Yeah, it's getting late. You guys are right, going to be wanna... up for long? Well, we got another 15 minutes. I mean, we're on Hawaii time, so... Yeah. <laughs> I think you I will almost. retire just a little bit early. Okay. okay. You want to, you're going nice. to join, join us for one of the ones in the next month? Uh, I don't know. Or you should. Uh, if you guys jump, bribe Mad me, Maggie. I will. <laughs> I'll come see you guys. Just uh, I, I guess I'll just get it from Ron. We'll make, you, we'll make you actually draw. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. I think I got quiet when the bride came up. <laughs> yeah. have, have you been doing any drawing? Yeah, I have. I've just been um, mostly drawing stuff for portfolio. Okay. But other than that, mostly just studies. Nothing exciting, but really boring stuff. I've been I've been trying to get better at watercolor. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. But I have seen some amazing watercolor artists 
And, you know, AI art cannot possibly copy that. Yeah. Try it, yes, it, it might. It, it can. I, not yet. <laughs> I don't want to. But, you know, here's the thing. It's like, I have video showing me drawing, so you can't, you know. I'm not worried about that part. Uh, well, what's the next one? When's the next one again, Mike? Well, they're, they're every Wednesday. Oh, okay. So next week, Wednesday. Yeah. So the ne ne next Wednesday is Archie, and then after that is Sam Key. And then Shonen Jump, and then Mad Magazine. So that's our lineup for Pepe, our January. Archie, easy. Okay. And, um, oh, uh, for those for those of you local, um, Comic Jam will be, you know, uh, January first. But we're we don't have oh, tables, really? so we're just gonna crash the food court again. Yay! Yay! Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna get a contract. So. Yeah. The, the the sticking point is the insurance that the mall requires us to carry. Uh, in the in the for the last couple of years, uh, Razor has sponsored us for that. Uh, they haven't responded, so I don't know. Well, we haven't really been doing anything for them either. So. Yeah. Um, I do have the information to get a quote, but I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's something I'll be able to yeah. afford. Uh, I'll ask you know Geico and see if they can give me a quote. Maybe we can do a car can. wash. <laughs> in, in bikinis, we'll have a bake sale. <laughs> a bake sale. A bake sale. Okay, well, well, let me let me get you know let me get a quote first to see if it's something I even want to you know if it's, well, we if, do, it's uh, if it's a reasonable price maybe we can look at raising funds but if it's you know four digits you know then we'll forget it. <laughs> well, we can do a men of comic jam calendar. <laughs> oh, we'll, and we'll pay you funny. not to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you money if you don't give it to me. <laughs> Please okay, get it away. I'll, I'll be anything. July, August, and September. All right. Uh, everybody say goodnight to Tiff. Good night, Tiff. Good night, Tiff. Good night, Tiff. Good night, Tiff. Bless you. Remember that way. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Good night. Have fun for the last 10 minutes. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. bye, -bye. All right. nice, nice to hear from bye. you. Bye. Oh, oh, yeah, what's what's something synonymous with New Year's? I gotta think of a New Year's gag. Yeah, old man and the old thing. man and the cherub. Oh yeah, was it the cherub? I thought it was like the old year and the new year. It's baby oh, New Year. Yeah. And is that basically a cherub? No, I guess so. You don't have no wings, Michael. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. And he has a hat. You're crossing oh, the streams. I, I always like when you have like the the old man just like all torn up and like good luck, kid. Yeah, <laughs> all beat up. Away. Yeah, have, like 2020. <laughs> Rough year. Uh, did we do a claymation of that one? Well, like the baby New Year, the big years or something. They had to rescue him, right? Yeah, baby New Year. That's right, and he had the big but ears. He didn't want to take up the hat because his ears popped out. So yeah. ha have like the New Year baby looking all optimistic, and then like a COVID germ hovering behind him. <laughs> Seriously, <yeah. laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard China is like has another outbreak again. Yeah. But, well, you know, I'm, I I still pay attention to the news, so it's it's not looking good because the the, the breakout cases are getting more virulent. Yeah. Uh, on a more positive note, <laughs> anyone has any resolutions for this upcoming year? I don't do resolutions. Okay. Every day is a new day. <laughs> is that what it is? That, that's an observation, not a resolution. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, that's what you look at, right? Don't make it for one day. That comes once a year. Every day. No, Come every day, break it like in every way, you're getting better and better. Yes. I'm, I'm, hey, John, smart enough, I'm smart I, enough. I, I, it doggone yeah. people like me. There you That's go. Right. Are, 
I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. <laughs> how, how, how is that book? The new book. What book? Which book? It looks, looks fantastic. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. Actually, you know, if you have high dive, Lupin, Lupin Zero is on there right now. It's really good. Oh. It really looks like a very retro style. Like, even like the, the way that the running and everything, it looks like they did a lot of homages back to the previous movies and series. Uh, yeah, it's, it's and, and in, in this last one, you actually get to see um, the grandfather and you get cool. to see Lupin's dad. So you get to figure out you get to figure out the relationship like how Lupin is tied in with Arsene Lupin and yeah like I said his father. So it's really good. And I guess how is it, a, in. Uh, is it anything like that cartoon Lupin? <laughs> the wolf. Know, what's, what about that British uh, live action thing with Lupin? You know, I watched a couple of those. Those are actually not bad. Yeah. I think it's what, he's French? A, he's a handsome dude. I'll give him that. Yeah. He doesn't have the song. No. He doesn't have the song. He got to have the song. It's like, it's like, it's like a Andrew smooth way out. That's all he's seven song. <laughs> Missing. It's, it, it's ingrained in Andrew's head every time he goes in my car. How, how are we doing on drawings? Are we almost ready for last looks? Yeah, I can. I, mean, I can show. Okay, so we'll we'll do the show everything you did tonight. So let me bring up Drew. So your first thing was Stand a Man Lee, looking all seventy sexy. It's not done, but I'll finish it later. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with that turning out. Yeah. So. And then. Uh, and then the avatar based stuff was ooh, it's a, a lady a sexy, as... sexy cat lady yeah. all right yeah. that's uh what's her name Terry um I mean is it if it looks like her I'm happy <laughs> but I wasn't really trying <laughs> so in the know. movie the there's she did. She didn't get a lot to do, but it, she she stole her scenes. It's, uh... Okay, I, who's next? I love Zoe. So now. Oh, I can show you mine. I just got the two. Here, Scott. Oh, Scott, Scott is, Scott's there. All right. So Scott, we there started off with uh, minimalist Stan Lee down there in the corner. All right. And then ah! one of the blue men. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy watching Scott's up right yeah. now. It's got one of the blue men up there. One, one of the blue man group, and then uh, that, uh, Doctor Do Manhattan. Doctor Manhattan. Well, at least, you, at least you're on theme. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And they all look pissed. <laughs> why, why, why do all the Navi? They are. Look at well, Stanley, I saw a clip of the film, and look what they did to the planet. So yeah, like damn colonizers. <laughs> All right, Scott, thank you. All right. Um, John, where are you, John? Uh, oh, oh I got to turn my thing on. I'm sorry. I start my cam. There you go. All right. That's it. Just those two? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you were working on some else. <laughs> no, I'm working on, yeah, work, work stuff. All right. So, that's what's, it. It, what's it say? Because you're kind of blurry for me. I don't know. Oh, is it blurry again? I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wrong one. What's it say? Oh, I wear them front, I wear them back. That's some. Um, that? uh, oh, it, it's his boxes. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to figure out what they meant. Big, and then, then you had to zoom it out so yeah, I can see Big Heroes. Up the, the boxer shorts. Yeah. Big Hero 6. Okay. Fred's dad. Yeah. Fred's dad. Fred Lee. All right. Sandy, you ready? Sandy. Ron, do you have anything to show tonight? Uh, no. Oh, wait. I think I figured it out. It's a horse head on the top shelf. Really? Is that a horse head? Yeah, what is that? It's a puppy. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a puppy. I got it when I graduated. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> weird there. It's weird how the angle looked like it looked like a horse head. Right. Like the yeah. But wait, nice. wait, wait, wait. Oh, you got 100 on there. I was trying to say, what's it say next to him? Oh, it says 100 years. <laughs> almost. Almost, Stan. Almost. Uh, and, and then we got some. His nice. Oh, spiders. The spider, spider's an interesting character because he's like a, a feral human. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's like a human spider. that grew up with the Navi. Yeah. It's like Jungle Boy. <laughs> Ooh, Jungle Boy. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll do my last look. So, Stan, Stan the bee. <laughs> and then. Uh, the heck his name Stand again? in the place where you were. Toomori or something like Toomori. Toomori. And uh, a Navi riding a skim wing. Oh, you know, nice. I like the angle. Just a, just a quick sketch. Yeah. I like how the water is implied. And that's all, folks. That's uh, next week, next week, Archie. Next year, Archie. Yeah. Next year, next year that's Archie. right. It's the final one for 2022. Jam on Sunday up in the Pearl Ridge Food Court. Uh, mm -hmm. 7th and 8th, John and I will be at, what's it called, PopCon? PopCon, Hawaii PopCon. Yeah, did they, they have so any promotional material? Or they have information? not. Okay, nope. that's good. But it sounds like it's going to be like more of a card show, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. Well, there'll be at least some drawings there because John and I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do sketch cards. We should draw on sketch cards and sell them. Huh? You should. Okay. Smart. There you go. I okay. do it. Okay. Anybody have anything else anyway. to promote or push? Thanks, everybody. No? It was fun. It's like it's right. a Kikaida thing, but that's coming up later. In... Yeah, that's the second week in January. Yeah. We'll bring it All up right. again. Okay. All right. Hey. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. 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 Happy New Year.